Family renovating their kitchen uncovers hidden markings beneath the paint. Even in something as ordinary as a home renovation, history hides all around us, waiting to be found. The Ramirez family was stripping old paint from their kitchen walls, only to find some strange markings underneath. Further inspection showed that they'd stumbled upon evidence of a lost era. The man who made the historic discovery while fixing up his own home was Lucas Asicona Ramirez. He and his family live in Chagil, a Guatemalan mountain village surrounded by rich history. Within just miles of the humble town lay endless attractions. All around Chagil are ancient ruins, colorful cemeteries, bustling flea markets, and so much more. To make a new discovery in such a historic hub of Central America is impressive feat once Lucas told the world what he'd found, news crews came running. Lucas had torn away at the layers of paint on the centuries-old wall. Yes, centuries. Look inside their 300-year-old home, and you'll notice the aged foundation, well-used stove, and recently installed wood and piping. The Ramirez family mistakenly thought their house was typical for their impoverished village. Once Lucas reached the final layer, he knew his home was special. At first, he thought he'd found some old damage covered with layers of plaster. But as he explored along the wall, Lucas realized that these markings were intentional. There were colors, lines, shapes, figures, it was an image. Lucas kept chipping until more of the hidden picture was revealed. He saw figures with patterned cloaks, heeled shoes, and strange instruments in their hands. He stopped in fear of causing damage to his amazing discovery. Lucas ran to tell his family about the images, and they gathered around to see. Word quickly spread, prompting the arrival of professional archaeologists to finish off the excavation. It took them weeks to uncover the entirety of the hidden imagery. And it wasn't just the kitchen. Painted throughout the Ramirez family's home was an epic mural. It depicted the people of an ancient Ixil Mayan civilization that once ruled Mesoamerica. That meant the piece was hundreds of years old. However, as historians examined the figure's clothing, they noticed something strange. While some of the people in the paintings were sporting traditional Mayan garb, there were many dressed in very uncommon clothing. At least, uncommon to the region. And yet, the clay used to paint the scenes was indigenous to the area. Who could have painted it? As far as execution, all signs pointed to the Mayans. The artwork's lines and distinctive shapes had that traditional Mayan flair, which chemical analysis later confirmed. Whoever created the work was tasked not only with capturing the fashion of the time, but also the dance moves. The paintings depicted men and women shaking around in a blend of dance styles. Some wore feathers and performed traditional moves while others with long beards banged on drums. Historians quickly realized what they were seeing. The mural depicted the Mayans interacting with the Spaniards, who were brutally colonizing the Americas in the early 1500s. The indigenous people were swiftly enslaved and the original name of the country, Coatimalan, was reinterpreted as Guatemala. So then, why all the dancing? You don't just go into a country, conquer it, and wipe your hands of responsibility. People will fight back if you don't convince them to join your side. With this in mind, Christian missionaries from Spain attempted to convert the indigenous population using a language they'd understand. The Spanish missionaries learned the traditional dances of the region and adapted them as tools for conversion, successfully shifting the local belief system to Christianity. Some of the dances in Lucas's home were long-lost Mayan traditions. Others were just blatant propaganda from Spanish missionaries. There was the Dance of the Conquest, depicting the Spanish invasion of the local Mayans. And then, there was the Dance of the Moors and the Christians, where Spain was shown conquering Muslim kingdoms. But why would local Mayans paint these propagandist murals in the Ramirez family's home? It wasn't long before the indigenous people fought back against Spain. Despite conversion attempts, the Europeans found the Mayans to be infidels who needed to be put down by force. This terrible insult to the cultural and mathematical brilliance of Mayan culture sparked a rebellion. In an interview with Rupley, Lucas explained what his family had been told by researchers. One of his great-grandfathers was a key member of a secret group known as the Cofradias, or Brotherhood. They were responsible for organizing religious meetings with an inspiring message that no one could resist. 
The Kafradias sought to capture every event in their lives, including the dances and traditions of both Mayan and Spanish culture. With the rebellion well underway, many residents were eager to bring back the influence of their indigenous past. Since Lucas's discovery, similar murals have popped up in other parts of Guatemala. Throughout Chajal and the surrounding area, people began hacking away at their walls in hopes of making similar discoveries as the Ramirez family. Many had enormous success. Ivan Putzis, an archaeologist from the University of Guatemala in San Carlos, explained why these finds were so incredible. We consider these murals to be very unique, says Ivan. It's tangible heritage that represent, s, real scenes from history. To work out the entire history, experts needed to communicate with the people who could help them most, the Ixil. Without the local Ixil people, researchers never would have never been able to identify the key components of these murals. As the paintings now fade from light exposure, photographs are all we have left to remember this chapter of Mayan history. Meanwhile, experts are desperate to uncover other evidence from the region.